Hey everybody, welcome to my live stream today. I'm gonna do something really fun. I just ordered a brand new bunch of dyeing supplies from dharmatrading.com and I'm going to unbox them this morning. I'm getting ready for an indigo tie-dye workshop later today and my studio is all clean. So after this, I'm gonna start setting it all up. So let's open this box. I sort of remember what I ordered, but I'm sure I will remember once I see. All right, so let's get into it. I ordered a lot of Procyon dyes. Let's just get everything out of this box. Okay, I love um, dharmatrading.com. I'm not sponsored by them at all. Um, they just have really good quality dyes and they're really good for ice dyeing and tie dyeing. And then they have all kinds of natural dyes too. So I kind of got a little bit of everything. So first I got some Centropol here. This is a big bottle of Centropol. Um, I use Synthropol for all of my dyeing projects just because it's like the best gold standard for washing everything before and after. I, if you've ever watched any of my tutorials, I always talk about Synthropol, so I go through a lot of Synthropol, so I need some more. Then I got some aluminum acetate here, and this is good for mordantine cellulose fibers. So I have a lot of alum um, that is good for protein fibers, but I don't work that much in protein fibers. Uh, maybe I'll start working more in protein fibers, but for a uh, cellulose fibers, AKA cotton, um, linen, this is what I need. So this is going to be very helpful for working with some of my natural dyes. I have a lot of natural dyes in my stash that I want to try and use more, especially as the summer comes up and like it's gonna be warm and I can work outside more. So I need some of that. This is really exciting. This is cochineal and cochineal is a natural dye that is purple. It's actually made from insects. So it's really, really tiny little insects. Um, and it's a beautiful purple color. So I'm excited to use this. I've gotten a couple comments asking about cochineal. Do I have any tutorials on cochineal? Not yet, but here is some cochineal coming at you. And then I got some decolorant mist from uh, Jacquard. I've never used this. I'm really excited to use this. Um, and this is just like removing little bits of dye on your like ice dye or tie dye. So it's kind of a, another discharge dye type of thing. I mean, I use bleach a lot. I use, um, I have thiox in my stash. Uh, I have white bright. These are all kind of like discharging things. This is a new one that I've never tried and I'm going to give it a shot on a project or two. I'm excited to see how it works. Okay, and then I got some new dyes. Some of them are just replacing some dyes that I've already have and I'm out. Strong Navy, I use a ton of Strong Navy. I think it's one of the most pretty colors out there. I got a big old bottle of Strong Navy. Then I got, let's see, I'm gonna open these up. I don't remember exactly what colors I got. I just was like having fun and adding them to cart or Procyon dyes. So these are Procyon dyes. These are good for um, using on cotton. Let's see, it says here, use on all natural fibers. Um, use appropriate fixative and fiber technique. There are many methods for use, batik, tie dye, dye painting, tub dyeing, and many more, also ice dye. Um, so, I have done a lot of uh, color samples. I have all of my colors 
here. Let me just show you. These are all my Dharma Trading uh, color swatches here, and I'm gonna make more with the new colors here, so stay tuned for a video like that. And if you want, you can download a PDF of these on my website um, if you wanna see what the colors look like for ice dye. So then I got sage green, which is a new color. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever used any of these colors. I'm really excited. I've been kind of like keeping an eye out for uh, new colors. Timberwolf, which I think is gonna be really beautiful and gonna give me a lot of good splits. I love split color, colors that split. Gunmetal gray. Um, this one I think splits. A lot of the neutrals are really good for that. Dances with raisins. So this is uh, kind of like a maroon color, raisin color. Muir green. Never tried that one. I'm excited. I was looking for some new like greens because I don't have a lot of good greens. Terracotta. This one should be really pretty. And let's see, watermelon. I need some more pinks. Periwinkle. Oh, I'm getting dye. There's like dye on it. Okay. And black cherry. Oh, I got two black cherries. Hmm. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> And khaki, I'm excited to try khaki. So that is my haul from Dharma Trading and this is going to kind of get me inspired for new tutorials this summer. And I'm really excited to crack these open and start using them. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you guys in the next one.